cinema matinee. I ain't got seven fifty to pay. Body of Lies. Body of Lies. The title that makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know. I woke up with a few bodies that have lied to me. So. <laughs> Starring Russell Crowe and the kid from Titanic. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, he's a grown-ass yeah, man He's going to be 70 and somebody's still going to be going, you know, that, that obnoxious kid from Titanic. His neck <laughs> has like fungi at the bottom of it. He can grow an afro on his chin and he will still look like he's a 14-year-old kid trying to look like a man. Hey, man, that's that DiCaprio. He's just pretty. It doesn't help either that he's playing versus crow who's apparently been on the cheeseburger diet for about six months because he looks old and fat and whenever he's not filming that guy is just porking out i thought he was fat in this role because i thought he was doing it for artistic integrity i thought he was doing a robert de niro on raging bull but he's just a fat well, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, i do that as a hobby you know i mean yeah. it's like i'll order a bunch of pizza and eat it i don't need to be in a movie and be artistic? Yeah. That's because you're not a pro. You're what we call a rank amateur. Oh, okay. <laughs> can somebody tell me, can Ridley Scott actually make a film without Russell Crowe anymore? I think that Russell Crowe has a file on Ridley Scott. And it's, <laughs> it's got him having sex with little boys and, and kittens. <laughs> and kittens? Damn. Little boys is one thing, but kittens? I'd be damned. We have Leonardo DiCaprio as a CIA agent trying to stop uh, Al-Qaeda uh, terrorist ring. In our in Iraq, from doing uh, something, from doing something, I don't yeah. Know. And I don't Russell Crowe is his head guy. That's his contact. From that point on, I can't tell you what the f happened. Are you were you really confused about what was going on? I after a certain point, yes. Okay, let me let me ask a series of of non-accusatory questions. Uh, did you receive any text messages during the film? No, I did not fall asleep. <laughs> no, I did not get a text message. And no, I was not masturbating. Was that, that your third has one? Has that been a problem before? <laughs> no, I, I, it just got to a point where I thought the movie was just a little too uh, convoluted. And actually, at, even at two hours long, I thought it was too long. Not to say I didn't like the movie. Everything you're expecting from Ridley Scott to be great consistently is there. Cinematography's great. There's some good editing in there as far as the action goes. Throughout the movie is my favorite thing, which is great dialogue. Lots of places where you mm -hmm. go, ooh, or just it's a cool or funny lines. And, you know, when the movie decides to get hardcore, it gets really hardcore. See, at least one or two torture scenes in here that are just really hard to watch. Yeah. That was kind of one of the big points of the film, I thought, was that almost every time you see Russell Crowe, he's back in America just doing mundane American, we all do it every day type And of yet shit. he's in control. Right. And yet he's in control, whereas we're seeing through uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's eyes, this Middle East that's actually really different from how the regular media likes to portray it. It reminded me of The Kingdom in which it said, look, it's a complicated issue and we're going to tell a story about a complicated issue. It didn't have a pulpit to preach from. I think if this film has a flaw, the main flaw is that it's two different movies. The first hour of the movie, where you've got this guy kind of infiltrating is one, is one movie, and then it actually becomes kind of a mission film. They had some cool ass characters in this movie. They, they had the, they pretty much had the, the Arab Bruce Wayne in this film. Well, he, yeah. I, I thought of him more as the, the Arab Andy Garcia. Yeah, we all said that. We were like, oh my God, is that is that Andy Garcia? <laughs> <laughs> and you can't tell if he's a bad guy or if he's cool, but he's scary and cool at the same time. But the best part about him is he can actually refer to other men as my dear and not sound gay. I have one rule if we are to cooperate, my dear. Never lie to me. Understand? Never lie to me. I really think that there's a lot of good stuff going for this movie. I think it just needs a better editing job. And other than that, great performances by everybody. Uh, I like the message behind the movie. I want to give it full price, but I really did think it was too long, so I'm going to give it a matinee. For a first viewing, I'd have to give it a high matinee. It's, uh, it's very entertaining. It's obviously very well done, but it's definitely not going to be for everybody. I liked everything about this movie. I even liked how complicated it was. I'm going to give it full price. I, I hope there's a better edit out there that we'll see on DVD. Otherwise, this is really just a matinee movie. Russell Crowe has seemed to like age more than he needs to be. Yeah. And... Leonardo DiCaprio looks, still looks much younger than he used to be. There were moments when those two were on screen together that I expected Dateline to show up. <laughs> and like, it's like, what are you doing with this little boy right here? Cinema, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got 750 to pay. Everybody.